This is a regular size new slimes. But today we'll be making a gigantic version of our slime and a tiny version of our slime. Just look at these labels. You can really see how big this one's going to be and how tiny this one's going to be. So let's get started. So first I'm going to attempt to make the tiniest slime possible. And just for comparison, this is our normal container and this is our tiny container. It holds around six ounces and this one holds like maybe one ounce. The slime I'm going to make is our Sour Belt slime and it's an icy textured slime with two vibrant colors, blue and pink. So I already have vibrant pink pigment that we use for the pink portion. So we're just going to put a little bit and mix. The pigment is super vibrant, so you don't need that much, honestly, to create this super gorgeous hot pink color. I just use a tiny scoop of pink pigment and it's already super vibrant. And next, I'll be making the blue side, which just needs a little bit of blue food coloring. I've been obsessed with Icy Slimes recently. It's super soft and we actually improved the texture, so it's super squishy, sizzly, really good for beginners. Now I have these two vibrant colors. I'm going to put it in our tiny container. Before I put the slime inside of this tiny container, I'm first going to put this tiny label that we already have printed out onto our jar. So I'm going to take a little bit of the blue and pink icy slime I made and swirl it, making sure I don't swirl it too much since I don't want the colors to mix. <gasps> Looks like a candy, oh my gosh. And then I'm just going to put it inside of this jar like that. And the last thing I just have to do is top it off with iridescent glitter to give that sugar sour belt effect. And I successfully shrunk my sour belt slime. I'm obsessed with how this turned out and compared to my face, look how small it is. And now let's squish this tiny pocket sized slime. And now I'm going to make my bestseller sugar cookie dough slime five times bigger in this 32 ounce container. Our sugar cookie dough slime has a lot of blue and pink sprinkles on top. So we got these large pink and blue felt paper that we're going to cut and make large sprinkles out of them. All right, here are my sprinkles. And now I'm going to make my sugar cookie dough slime. Since we need enough slime to fit this large 32 ounce container, I obviously need a larger amount of slime. So this slime requires two colors. I'm first going to separate it into two equal sections and then dye the first part tan and the second section blue. So we put a little bit of brown dye and yellow dye because our goal is to make a light tan color. And this slime has a beginner friendly cloud dough texture. So it's really good for squishing and it doesn't really stick to your hands that much. Okay, I think I successfully made the tan side. Now I need to go ahead and make the blue. I'll be right back. All right, blue slime is done, let's assemble. First things first, let's add on our gigantic label. Next, I'm going to combine these two colors. I'm going to swirl it a little bit to make it a little bit more pretty and then add it into our container. First, going to put this much. Let's squish this in here. My favorite way to set up this sugar cookie dough is to add tiny little scoops on top of the container. But since this is a huge slime, I'm going to make gigantic slime ice cream scoops. I'm going to grab some of this additional slime, the scooper like this, and then kind of shape it so we can create an ice cream scoop out of it. Kind of like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. One ice cream scoop done. Let's cover the rest of the surface with more scoops. All right, ice cream scoops are done. Now let's decorate. 
So this sugar cookie dough slime comes with three white chocolate chips, but since we need to make the white chocolate chips proportion to this gigantic slime, I'm just going to hand make it with our air dry clay. So we need to make a light tan color. We're going to use the yellow and brown dye again. Let's mix it up. All right, we made this tan color. Now we're just going to shape these chocolate chips. I'm first going to start by making like a water droplet shape and then make the bottom flat. All right, we got these chocolate chips made. I'm going to place these first on our slime. Next are these felt sprinkles that we made. And the final step for the slime is to coat it with a ton of blue sugar. So we have some blue iridescent glitter here and blue sugar crystals. I felt like we can just use the normal size for this. So let's just sprinkle this all on top of the slime. And this will give it that final glittery touch. I'm really happy with how this big sugar cookie dough slime turned out. I feel like these large felt sprinkles that we made gave it a really cute touch. And also, look, it's like literally the size of my face. And also, we actually made a mini version of the slime in our short form, so just look at the comparison. And now, let's squish. And finally, the grand finale, I'm making the world's largest raw honeycomb. And just for size comparison, this is our gigantic container, and this is our normal container. I have this huge raw honeycomb batch, and before I add it into our slime container, I have to play with it. Playing with big batches is so much fun. Whoa. Oh my goodness. The base of raw honeycomb is a jelly slime. And fun fact, these jelly slimes inflate a ton as you play with it. That's why it's one of my favorite textures. So just imagine how much the gigantic slime is going to inflate after we play with it. I'm going to try making a slime bubble. <gasps> Whoa! Jelly slimes are really good for bubbles. Oh my goodness, it's so squishy. Oh, I can play with this batch all day, but we got a big, gigantic raw honeycomb slime to make. So let's get started. But before we put in our slime, let's stick on our gigantic slime label. This required pretty much half of a printer paper and just had to cut it out. We're just going to tape it like so. Now this is the fun part. I'm going to grab a ton of our jelly base and just fill our large slime container up to the brim. Guys, imagine if I actually sold this size slime on our website, would you guys buy it? <gasps> guys, we used like more than half of this huge container of slime. That's crazy. I'm just going to scrape a little bit off from the top so that we can create a flat surface to put our gigantic honeycomb on top. And we finally have the main character of today. This is our handmade gigantic raw honeycomb piece. And just look at all the textures and the details, guys. This is crazy. First things first, we have to drizzle all of this clear honey syrup all over our raw honeycomb. For our normal slime size, we use a half ounce container of this honey slime, which is barely anything compared to how much I'm using right now. Next, I have to put our sprinkles on top of this raw honeycomb. We went an extra mile and printed out our bee and raw honeycomb sprinkles on our printer paper and laminated them so we can make these gigantic ones. These look exactly like our original ones, just 10 times bigger. Laminating them was a really good idea because now it doesn't really get stuck to the slime. Let's put some bee sprinkles in the front as well. 
And now we have our queen bee we made out of clay. It's so cute. Perfect, our raw honeycomb piece is done. All we have left is to place it on top of our gigantic honey slime. Okay guys, this might get a little bit messy, so I'm going to make sure I put my hair up. We're going to lift this gigantic raw honeycomb we made. All right, let's place this on our container. I don't know if you guys can see me, but the last piece we have remaining for this slime is our honey stick. So we're just going to stick this right here. And just like that, this is the biggest raw honeycomb slime you guys probably have seen in your entire life. Guys, this is probably the biggest slime I've ever made. It's so heavy, I can't even lift it. Okay, well, all there's left to do is squish. So let's do it. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so much slime. Hand mixing this much slime is so much work. If I had my big industrial mixer, it would have been so much easier. But let's keep kneading. Also, have you guys tried real raw honeycomb from the store? Because when I was inventing this raw honeycomb slime, I was curious, so I tried it out for myself and it was a little too sweet for me. So I mix it as much as I can with my hand and it's a little bit chunky still, but my arm hurts. This was an arm workout. So I think we call it a day and I think our gigantic raw honeycomb was successful. I had so much fun making all of my slimes in different sizes. And I wanna know, if you can have one gigantic snoop slimes of your own, which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys don't miss our future videos. And make sure to shop our weekly Friday restocks every Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. We drop new slimes every single week. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!